What's up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mod 7 guys, we're getting right into it today, we have some fun stuff planned as you know, we're going to get into Applied Energistics today because we need auto crafting, now don't get me wrong, this whole Tom Simple Storage mod, it's fantastic, but it, uh, we need better, we need to upgrade, so the cool thing is, we have the ability to automate most of the Applied Energistics stuff, we'll be doing that in a little bit, um, but we have a lot of Certus Quartz dust, and that's what we need to kind of focus on today. we got to turn it into some Certus Quartz seeds, and then that'll get some Certus Quartz crystals, which is going to be kind of the backbone. Uh, but we do have quite a bit made, so we'll probably worry about that in just a little bit. Uh, but let's go ahead and look it up here. Applied Energistics. Yes, we're going to need a charger here. Do I not have any copper? That is kind of odd to not have any copper, but this will allow us to create uh, charged Certus Quartz Crystals, which is what we dearly need. So there we go. Here's our charger. Perfect. All right. And then we're also going to be making an Energy Acceptor. Where are you at? There you are. Energy Acceptor. Now we're going to need some Quartz Glass. Good thing is we can make that no problemo. Cool. Um, so Energy Acceptor will allow us to use energy outside of... Applied Energistics to go ahead and get powered to our system. And so I've actually switched to using a dimensional... Where'd it go? Oh, I put the auto pickup upgrade here. We're going to turn that off real quick and the magnet. Uh, but I have upgraded all of our storage chest to netherite backpacks. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of storage. I've also put in the feeding upgrade into our tools bag. And that's where I'm keeping my food. So it's feeding us whenever we need it. So it's fantastic. That is a suggestion that you guys put down in the comments. So I really appreciate it. But yes, um, energy acceptor so we can go like this. Uh, output on all sides, and then now whatever we put here, does this work? Yes, this does. So if we go like this, you can see it gets zapped and then turned into charged shirt. So, uh, third is shirt, certus quartz. Sorry, I had a difficult time saying that. And the cool thing is we can automate this with a, a filter. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to do that later, but this is important for making the fluix dust. If we, here, where is it? One uh, Charcer's Quartz. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. So Redstone Charcer's Quartz and Normal Nether Quartz. That is uh, what we need, and we need a Redstone. So I'm going to be here for a, li a little bit. I want to get uh, about a stack of the Charcer's Quartz, so I'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, so this is my little semi-automated way to do it, right? We have our, our Surtis Quartz over here. Uh, that gets pulled into the charger. As soon as it turns into the charged service quartz, we have a, a filter over here that just says, hey, only take out charged service quartz. So as soon as it is, we just go ahead and grab it. So now we have a stack here, uh, but we don't have a full stack of redstone anymore. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do is toss these all into some water and watch the magic. Do we have any good water sources other than... Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay. So you, you, and you. And it should pop. Boing, look at all that fluix dust. Very cool. So yep, we got two for one, which is good. Um, ooh, I like, I, like, I like deals. Hey, get back up there. But cool. So now we have the Fluix Dust, and that allows us to kind of create some more crazy things. Cause we're gonna, blah, 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 more crazy things, because we need the formation cores for certain crafting recipes. Um, we also need Fluix Crystals to make, you know, the acceleration cards. And the ME Controller, which is basically the heart of our system. So that is the big one. And then we also need Fluix Cables. So we're going to have to go ahead and make these guys, which is like so. So we'll go ahead... Create two stacks. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go for the full thing. Oh, and by the way, Applied Energistics has been added, which is crazy. Or not Applied Energistics. Pfft, of course Applied Energistics has been added. But uh, Tinker's Construct has been added, which is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let those chill in there. I believe it's 20 minutes. Let us have a look. Yes, 20 minutes. So here, we'll just say, Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. Alexa, 
Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Starting now. There we go. I'll be right back. Okay, so 20 minutes has passed. Oh, geez, look at that thing. It's going crazy. So, yeah, in the latest update, that kind of freaks out a little bit when we're far away. But, yes, here we go. We have our Flux crystals. But, yeah, if we get closer to this thing, as you can see, it goes back to normal. It might just be a bug in the, the version of Create. But, yeah, it looks like it's spinning at, like, a million miles an hour. And, yeah, it's great. It's a great thing. <clears throat> but, okay, now we have the... Fluix crystals. Uh, so we do need some sky stone. Now I do have a little bit. Uh, we have enough, actually. This used to be my favorite block in modded Minecraft until they changed it and made it worse. Yes, it was so beautiful before, and now it's so tainted. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Hoying on a second. I forgot about this. We need to make some pr inscribers. Basically, going to press these things into form. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we can also go ahead and make a few Fluix cable. Need to make some of this real quick. So the great thing is that recent, not recently, but a while ago, oh. <clears throat> a while ago, I obtained all of the presses for, for doing this. So it's gonna be very easy. And I believe that we can just do that. Let's get power. No. Okay, so we gotta move this temporarily. Well, this isn't even the permanent setup for that. So that's okay. I know it says it doesn't have power, but let's test it out. Um, so we're gonna need the diamond one, which means we're gonna need a little bit of redstone. And then we're also gonna need some silicone. Okay, so yeah, that's just quartz smelted. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll throw... Oh, it has to be inserted? That's interesting. Okay. All right, there we go. Silicone press. Yep, okay, so it does have power, even though it says it doesn't, which is kind of goofy. All right, there we go. And now we need the engineering press. And then we'll do one diamond as well. All right, so I believe we'll be able to use this factory hopper to get it in there. Um, man, they're making this really difficult, honestly. Okay. So from the back, yeah. So we can do this. And then hopefully that, yeah. Okay. So you, bottom, you side, you top. Yes, okay. <clears throat> there we go. That's interesting. You used to be able to just click these guys right in. All right, so now we have the cool guy. And we can go ahead and make the ME controller. Congratulations, we are victorious. Applied Energistics is ours. We are the winners. I'm just kidding. Well, we are the winners. But now, if we go like this, Energy Acceptor. Bam, look at that cool lighting effect. Yes. Okay, so now we need to make some other things for our new system. So we've, we've created the brain, but we have nowhere to put any of the internal components. And we're going to need to do that again. But we're going to go up this time and over. And we'll put the inscriber here so that we can put this here and this here. Okay. So we'll do the engineering press and then we'll go one, two, three, four for now. And that will work its magic. All right, so those are done. Now we can go ahead and put in the silicone one. We'll have a different inscriber for each of these. Um, I've been able to automate this really easily before, so it shouldn't be too difficult to redo it, which will be fun. Good learning experience. I'm actually very excited because it's a new challenge. Let's let these guys process up. Okay, we're good here. And so we need one more piece of redstone. We really need to get our redstone 
bee setup, which is probably means we need to get our whole bee factory going with all the resources we need, which is something we're probably going to have to do next episode or very shortly because that is getting quite, um, we need, we need more. But yes, having applied energistics will improve that by allowing us to, you know, craft things automatically. <clears throat> yes, 100% the reason. Not because it's just better than refined storage, but because it's good altogether, you know. And if you disagree, that's okay. I still love you even though you're wrong, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have... Basically, two good stuff. Whoa, hang on a second. So these will hold all of our drives, which will then in turn hold all of our resources. Can I do this? I can. Very cool. Okay. So we need a way to access... Well, we need a couple of things. We need the storage in there and a way to access them. Um, so we have the, the cables already. We are going to be making an ME crafting terminal, which means we're going to need to make an ME terminal, which means we need this. I didn't save any of the Fluix. Dang it. Gee, dang it. You know, ah. I wonder, will this work? Goodbye, carpet. We don't need you. Shut up, you stupid wandering trader. Go wander somewhere else. Yes, you. Okay. <clears throat> So one away, one away. Hey guys, in case you didn't know how I set this up before, we're about to find out. Very cool. Learning with Super Turtle. All right, so taking it out of here, taking it out of here, get rid of that. Actually, we don't want it taking out of there just yet. Let's do that. Uh, here you go. That's some power. Okay. So now I can click here. Actually, we can make the filter for it, which is why we needed that. And boom. So it's, it's even saved it. Very cool. All right. So now all we got to do is just take this. Bam. Throw that in there. Okay. We'll let this process for just a few moments. Yeah. All right. We're back in action. So. We can go ahead and create those two cores because we're going to need them. We also need the logic processor, which is the gold version. Um, so it is, let's see, which press? There it is, the logic press. And we're going to grab a little bit of gold. It would be cool. Hang on. Can we just do it straight from? Now, so we can duplicate it with a block of iron uh, if we want more, which maybe would be cool. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's do that. Okay, and then the Logic Press Perfection. It's beautiful. Okay, and then the only way that I found to automate this is either do through seeds, which wouldn't be a bad idea, um, or there are bees. Hang on. Yeah, it looks like they actually removed the Certus Quartz bee because um, you used to be able to get it to process this stuff right away. But it looks like we are going to be doing the... Oh, wait, never mind. I lied. Spatial B. Okay, so this comes from... The, yeah, so we get... Okay. So we're probably going to find a way to automate this somehow. Um, maybe... Can you shut up? Seriously. Do you have anything good to trade? No. Piss off. Whew, almost lost my cool for a second there. Okay, so these are done. So we can go ahead and we need more we need more redstone already. This is great. We're using so much redstone, it's not even funny. Alright, you go in, you go hang on, I've made a mistake. We forgot the log we for we for we one, two, three, four. We forgot the silicon almost messed up there so but i think if we're going to go ahead and automate certus quartz anyway we're just going to do the um the seed method i just think that is all in all way better and then it is we are on the latest version do we have anything for har 
harvesting now, other than this? I don't think so. Oh, well. Looks like we'll have to use create mod. That's fine. I'm not mad at all. All right, so here we go. And then you. So now we get our logic uh, presses, which is fantastic. That will allow us to craft the things that we've been talking about. Oh, but I have to go ahead and do this. This is a little inconvenient, but we are gonna be working on a new big base here. I'm actually thinking about keeping this one and then possibly doing a sky base over the water. What do you guys think? Like a massive island up top. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would want to see a sky base, because I actually think we could pull it off really easily in this mod pack. Um, but if you guys want to do something, because I, I have done it before, um, so just just let me know what you think, okay? Just get, be nice, okay? Is it too hard to ask for? <gasps> Wait a second, I need charge Certus Quartz. Now we're good, we're good. Okay, so we got those, we have one left. So we can go ahead and make the, ooh, wait, we need the illuminated panel. We have quartz glass, yes, perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and make the ME terminal, bam a -lam. And then now we just need this one, which is the third of quartz press. So that's the calculation, okay. Oops, let's go ahead, put that in there. It's really inconvenient. Do we, can we like put it in from the side if we click here? <gasps> oh, I feel dumb, you just, you can't click it from the front, you click it from the side. Oh, oh. It's like if I do this, I go bam. Get in there. I don't know, it's acting funky. And we forgot to do the silicone one again. Okay, so maybe here. Oh, yes, that one worked. All right, so here we go. Silicone. So it lets you do it, it lets you access it all from the sides, but not from the front. Okay, that might be actually a bug now that I think about it. Let's not worry too much about it. All right, so that we don't have a crafting table of all of the things, that, oh, we're out of wood, of all of the things that we could be out of. Okay, so here we go, crafting table, and now we have the Emmy crafting terminal, beautiful. So this literally just goes like that, and we can access all of it. Now, as you can see, it's very similar to uh, Tom's Simple Storage, like extremely similar, but the only difference is that we can use auto-crafting with this, and we can really dial in the auto-crafting a little bit more than we can with Refined Storage, though Refined Storage has come a long way since I really started to prefer Applied Energistics, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see. Okay, so the next part of our journey, like we have everything set up, like crafting terminal, we have the drives, but we don't have any drives in there to, to store anything. Um, and so what we're going to be doing, is I've already started it up, is we're gonna be smelting or creating a whole bunch of the processors, or the, the storage components, sorry, not processors, um, which contain the processors. But yes, so this is what we're gonna be creating a lot of, and I do think it would be smart if we went ahead and actually got the Certus Quartz seeds set up. Like, I think that's very important. Um, not like we don't have everything for it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make up quite a few of these. Looks like we can just use Certus Quartz. Um, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Come on. Prosperity seeds. All right, and then we're going to get some hopper. Oh, hang on. I hit the button. All right, so let's see if we can do some sort of automation for this. That looks like it's crazy right now. I love it. All right, so we're just going to do something super basic here. We're going to have these hoppers feed right into these, um, and we're going to see if this works. Now, I want it to be... It's not going to be really symmetrical. Unless we do this, then it's technically symmetrical, right? Kind of. Is that, I don't feel like that's how you say that word. Anyway, let's put the prosperity seeds in here. All right. And then we can go ahead and just break these up into four and then into four. So in the, we're going to do in the corners. Okay. So that's working. 
All right, and then there we go. Okay, so very cool. I wonder if I just stand here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collect these, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got our 16 Sirtis Quartz seeds, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get those guys started. I'm, I'm actually... We're going to grab some of the Supremium Essence. We're going to combine this up with the farmland. Um, should be able... I believe I have some laying around, yes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and actually swap out the uranium one. Because, like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we have so much uranium here, it's not even funny. We have 10,000 uranium. I actually need to keep track of how much we have. So 10, 10 10.8. Um, and we do have ways to speed this so... Oh, I see. We, uh... Oh, it's full. We need to expand the storage on that a little bit, I guess. Okay. So nothing to fear there, which is good. Uh, yeah, but we don't need any um, uranium being processed up over here anymore. So we're going to be getting rid of it. Okay, so we have this here. I believe I have my watering can. Beautiful. All right, and so we can go ahead... There we go. These are all good to go. Okay. So now I can sit here for a bit and kind of grow these guys up. Um, and so now we'll be able to get a lot more seeds and certus quartz, and it'll be great. All righty. So we now have all of the seeds here. We really need to, I need to go through and level this all out. We need to fix this. I'm probably going to do a different method of where we have big fields of these things next to each other. And then we just kind of have this go back and forth every once in a while, which might be better because the issue is every once in a while there's lag and it stops for a little bit and then it destroys the, the, fur, the, the soil that's underneath it. So just looking at ways to minimize that, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so cool thing is that, you know, we're already starting to get stuff. Um, we have 44 of those guys, which is fantastic. And then we have a lot of uranium that we can just add into it. So very cool. Check it out. Yes, it's mining it. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's working. Cool. All right, so back here, we're going to go ahead. We, we can make the dust right away, or we can just go into... Um, the Sirtis Quartz Crystals, and looking, this is a bit more expensive, we lose two of the Essence for it, um, yeah, so we basically lose the middle two, but I think that's okay, um, so it saves us a lot of time, but yes, but now we have Sirtis Quartz not really automated, but being collected, uh, we can do an automation thing with it very easily with the crafter from, um, with the crafter from... RF tools, so it's not too crazy at all, which is good, because then we'd still have to add sand, add sand to it, so I think all in all, it's just going to be better all together, so very cool, we have that. Now, um, I did set up a the builder in the end, and we are mining, it's in the end highlands currently, and we're looking for the unobtainium, uh, which is good, because... We should be able to go look where it's been mining because it I don't believe it has the ability to mine it, so it's never going to be here. Um, so what we need to go ahead and do is head on over. Okay, so here... Yeah, here is our builder. Um... We need to go find out where it's mining from. It should be very obvious. Maybe here? No. Hang on, let me find it real quick. Whoa, I found another one of these. So this is called something, I believe, if we look up higher. I end up dying. Yeah, it's called a three little birds um 
What was that? The mobs in here are absolutely bonkers. Look, here we go. We got a giant phantom, which is crazy. We got this Enderman who's acting a fool. But, like, there are skeletons in here that just, like, one-shot you. Oh, my lord. We got a loot chest. Let's go through that. Oh, <gasps> diamonds. Even though we have thousands upon thousands of diamonds, I'm still curious. Anyway, but, yeah, this is crazy. Still looking for where that's started. I did make this a little bit too big, if I'm thinking about it. Ooh, there's one of these. I got a little distracted. But... There are... Silverfish. Oh, he killed them. And because of Silk Touch, we get them. Yes. Perfect. Ooh. CDs. TV. DVD. Player. Good. Okay. So I need to go ahead and set up the parameters because I have no idea where it's mining from. And where like it's been mining for probably about an hour to two hours. Oh, there it is. See, I knew it'd be obvious. Okay, so holy heck. Um and Midlands and Highlands. So this is where it says the unobtainium is supposed to spawn. It says End Highlands biome only. We're in End Highlands. We've mined all of the things. There we go. Oh my gosh. Unobtainium. Okay. Uh, we are not going to mine it with this. Do we have any more? Yes, I can't believe we actually found some. This is fantastic. I don't know if I spelled that right, but that's where it is. Okay. Um, do we have any more? I'm on the... Wait, what was that? Nope. That's so rare. Holy cow. That would have been so difficult to find without the builder. I'm so glad that we found some. All right, these are end midlands, end highlands. Okay, I need to go get my fortune pickaxe and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with my... Uh, my pickaxe here, and I want to turn on the magnet so we get everything. Um, maybe I just do this so we have the magnet ready. Oh, we need vibranium for this. Frick. That means we got to go to the nether. Um, I just saw that. Dang it. Ah. I thought it was netherite. We could get away with it just fine. Well, this has been very helpful. Like all of this space cleared out and I can only see that. If you guys if you guys see any more, please put it in the comments cuz I'm pretty sure that's all I can find. So it's good though cuz as soon as we fix that. Ooh, another backpack. Good. Get a lot of nerve. Okay, so this means we just got to go to the nether and maybe do the same thing. But we have the unobtainium, which means that because we have it, we can go ahead. We can go ahead and set up the bees to automate it for us in a couple episodes. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys, bring you guys, guys along with that because it's really cool. I realized why it was doing that, though. Because it was full, so it could only harvest. Yes, okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and collect this. 
here, and then we're gonna go map. We're gonna unchunk load it. There we go, okay, perfect. All right, we got 64 of the logic processors now, so that means we can craft all of the stuff and things. Hang on, let's go look at how many, Jeez, every time I look at that, it's crazy. Let's go look how many of the stuffs we've crafted. You know, the things stay on here. Hello. How are you doing? Seven. What the frick? Seven? We really need those growth accelerators. Like, by a lot. So, we don't have a lot of shorter scorch. That's okay. We can cry about it later. Um, how much third quartz do we actually have? All right, guys. So, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make these crystal growth accelerators. Um, this should bring down our time. The time that it takes for our uh, little flux crystals to grow. Uh, but what that does mean is we are going to need another power cell. Let's see. Ah, it's weird. Every once in a while, the F key gets changed something. I think it's just because we updated the pack. Uh, but it gets changed, and it acts all finicky. Ooh, we are out of the prismarine shards. Yo, hang on. Check this out. So, blue flame... We put lapis and what? Oh, oh, we get prismarine. Let's see, do I still have this? I do. Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. I've never, I've never even seen that before. That's brand stamp bank and uh, stuff the bank and new. Okay, so we're gonna get soul soil for this and then a flint and steel. And then some lapis lazuli. Okay, so we don't really care about the lava. Ah, frick. Okay, and then we light that on fire. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's try this out. There's something going on. Check that out over to the right. Ooh. Look at that. Very cool. Okay, so we got a bunch of prismarine shards. That is a fantastic way to get these. I love that. Okay. Um, RF tools. Here we go. Bam. We make another dimensional cell. Bing, bing, bong. We make another one of these. All right, we got 32 of those. We keep using them. Oh, I don't know why I made two of them. Oh, well. Actually, for this, I think we only need that much. And then we're going to get some flux. Why is it typing over there? I typed here. Okay, so we're also going to go ahead and make a toggle bus. And we're going to see if we can go ahead and, you know, toggle it. See if we can have the power turn. Oh, we're going to need an energy acceptor as well. Forgot that real quick. There we go. Okay. Where did the power go? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so... Oh, we need a link card. That's why I made... Okay, here we go. So we have the link card. I believe if we just right-click it, it... Oh, frick, it's up here. No, we gotta just link it. That's fine. Okay, now we can go ahead and fix this up. I've got a lot in here. So we're gonna grab them all. How we all doing? Yeah, 29%. I don't feel like waiting that long. So, let's, do we have room in here for this? If we move this. Okay. Um, so, power cell here. We're going to go 
One, two, but no, we gotta go over one more. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go ahead and get this linked up. We're also gonna take this wireless charger and put it there, so if I ever have anything that needs charging, it's good to go. Actually, we need to not put it there. We need to put the energy acceptor here, and then we can place this here. I believe that works. Output on all sides. So now this is going. And I'll just break it. Who cares? All right, so we need to get some high-quality H2O in there. Ooh, I need more buckets. Got our handy dandy sink, perfect. Okay, so I've got the bucket here. We're gonna go ahead and place this right here. And then the fun begins. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so those are all in there getting grown. Yeah. Cool. So we'll just wait here for a little bit, and once they're fully grown, we'll use them. We'll be good. It'd be cool to set this up on its own. Ooh, I wonder if we could use immersive engineering's, like, uranium and water system. Like, if we swept, swapped it out with... Yeah, like, those are already done. Like, we could have this thing run on literally free power. I think that's something we'd look into. Um, the old method that's out here over there see remember how we use the the thermal thermal electric generator thermal gener something like that but that's the method i'm thinking so look now we have a whole bunch of certus quartz so that's great um and now we can go ahead and make a bunch of 1ks we have no redstone this is great we are way out of redstone i mean that almost gave us gave us another whole stack which is unfortunate because, uh, yeah, we need more than that. All right, let's go ahead here. And there we go. There goes all of our redstone that we're probably going to need to make a couple 1Ks. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. We made a mistake. <sighs> I'm actually going to have to go down to the mine. Like, we need to set up our redstone bee uh, very, very quickly. Okay, let me go ahead and just get some redstone, and we'll get a couple of 1Ks put in there. Okay, so we got a little bit of uh, redstone here, enough that will get us into our 1Ks. Uh, we'll probably, yeah, we need some quartz glass as well, which means we got to smelt up some sand. Oh, man, this is crazy. I do like that I have switched over to um, the blocks of coal because our, our coal system, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we have so much coal over here. It's ridiculous. Look at this. 24,000 coal. Look at this. 3,900 netherite scraps. Look at this. 1,800 all the modium ingots. Like, I might start offering that to some of the, the players on the server. Be like, hey, tell you what. Help me out with this project, and I'll, I'll give you an all the modium sword. Only sharpness, like, 58 is something like that it starts with. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Redonkulous. Okay. So now we can go ahead and actually create the quartz glass. There we go. And that will allow us to create the 1K cells. There we go. So these are just going to be the basic cells that we have. But very quickly, you guys will realize that applied energistics, it's very expensive for a reason. Because like this is good, but it's very, very generic. Like We are going to... Like, especially if we go up to the 64Ks, which we'll eventually have, and we'll have, like, a big wall of them. Like, we will 
easily surpass all of the storage. And then the cool thing is, is with Applied Energistics, we do have an external an external storage buff, I believe. Uh, let's see. It's a special faceplate. Yeah, an Emmy storage bus, I believe. Is that it? Yeah, so the Emmy storage bus, this will allow us to um, connect because we're going to have a, a much better looking system. We're going to clean all of this up than what we have here for for the drawer controller with storage drawers. Um, so we're going to have this all looking way better. And do we have... Do have any cooler looking ones? Wow, that is some cool looking stuff. But we might see about switching this up a bit. Here we go. Um, there used to be the ability to customize how these looked, but I don't think we have that in here yet. Uh, but we might use something like the warp drawers or something, because these things look really cool. Or we might just go to Birchwood, have that clean look. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This episode, we went ahead and got the Applied Energistics started. We'll get into some auto-crafting and really, really get in deep with the applied energistics here pretty shortly so everyone thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to hit that like button and as always don't forget to subscribe but this has been super turtle and i love your faces i'll see you all next episode take care peace out Bye bye